I did touch on a lot of things that relate to some strategies. And right now, I'd like to highlight the most important strategies that I covered and put those in context. So listen carefully. One thing that I will be talking about often is how to defend yourself from aggression. And by that, I mean from aggression from any source. It could be from the state or it could be from violent criminals or con artists, hackers, doesn't matter. And not all hackers are bad. I'm just talking about the thieves, those hackers. Um, Yeah, basically anyone and everyone who initiates aggression against you, doesn't matter where they are, they are aggressors. And I'd like you to have strategies for shielding yourself and your loved ones from their actions. One thing I mentioned was hedging against inflation. I purchased Bitcoin. That's just one example. Another example would be real estate in a an area where freedom is increasing, economic freedom is increasing, where it's a good investment. Also, you know, precious metals and things of that nature. Ways to protect yourself from the plummeting value of fiat currency. Also, to defend yourself against crime, um, you can move to a safer neighborhood. You can take measures to be prepared to defend yourself and your loved ones. By that, I mean stay physically fit, take training, um, prepare yourself by always having tools on you, on your person that you can use as options in case your family is targeted. Hopefully that won't happen. It is a rare occurrence, but it can happen. So, Also, if you carry any kind of defensive weapon, you need to protect yourself legally. If you don't, you could end up in prison. Even if your act of self-defense is completely justified, you could end up in prison for a very long time or worse. And you could lose all your money uh, basically to you know, legal fees. So I recommend getting a concealed carry license if you still live in a statist area. Um, so another thing I touched on was health. Health is a prerequisite to anything you want to achieve. So it's crucial if you want to achieve freedom, if you want to be productive in this life toward freedom and to achieve happiness, you got to be healthy. You got to take care of your body, you know, exercise, nutrition, regular sleep, doctor checkups, these kinds of things. Raising children peacefully with love and respect. That is a subject that I'm very passionate about. And it's a great way to transform culture over time. One thing I discussed is unschooling. Unschooling is a great way for your child to learn practical information, to learn by doing, to learn by experiencing things in the real world instead of being stuck in a classroom and force-fed a, in some cases, relatively useless curriculum. Also, it shows your child that you love them because you're spending all this time with them. You are their advocate. You are their helper. You're basically helping them explore their passions, discover their passions, and to become ultimately a successful, happy, independent person. Also, I discussed adoption. Adoption is an example of making a positive impact on your own life and the lives of others. It is satisfying for both parties, for me as a parent and for an adopted child to develop that kind of relationship and to have a positive impact on each other's lives. By doing this, you can inspire others to follow your positive example. And by doing that, you become more influential. And the more influential you are, the more power you have to transform culture, i.e., e.g., I don't know what... I should learn the Latin, (laughs) what those abbreviations stand for. But anyway, it helps you transform a culture to be more freedom friendly over time. Also, you know, achieving freedom is a numbers game. If you want to transform a culture, you need to have a critical mass of people. And to do that, you need the numbers. So it does help to have more babies. And when it comes to adoption, and I just brushed over this like it was no big deal, but it is a big deal. It's fantastic. Not only do you prevent an abandoned child from becoming an indoctrinated status dependent on others, you give them the opportunity opportunity to become a successful independent freedom lover. So on the one hand, you are preventing a statist from developing. On the other hand, you are enriching someone's life by adding a freedom lover. 
um, or like allowing them to become a freedom lover, which gives us a plus one and the status a minus one. So statistically, it's awesome. Anyway, um, and by the way, that's not the only reason I adopt, of course. Everything I said about paying it forward and being adopted and wanting to have a positive impact on another child is absolutely the case and a big part of why I'm adopting as well. Both good things about adoption. Another big subject I want to talk about is how to live your life as you wish more effectively. And by doing that, you basically make the most of the freedom you achieve and you live a freer life doing the things you want to do. So one strategy is to move. By moving, you can achieve a lower cost of living. By doing that, you can acquire more of the things that bring you pleasure. You can also have your own private space because you can afford a home with you know, more rooms. And that way, each member of your family can spend time as they wish, which is incredibly important <laughs> if you want to maintain a happy family. Another way to live as you wish more effectively is to increase your efficiency because every hour you save is an hour you can spend living as you wish. <clears throat> so I suggest delegating tasks to others. Anything you can delegate, hire someone to do it. Automate and organize tasks using, you know, life hacks, software, smartphone applications, things like that. Tailor your work environment for increased productivity. Um, tactics for doing that are, you know, setting up a soundproof environment, having permanent stations for repetitive tasks so you don't have to spend time setting things up and taking things down, maintaining a neat and organized workspace and storage space so you can quickly and easily find the things you need in less time. One thing I did not touch on, which is also important, is batch processing. If you do a task repetitively over and over, you become faster and more efficient at doing that task. So it is more efficient in many cases to take a task you do maybe for a short period of time each week and to instead spend a, an entire chunk of the day doing those tasks um, one after the other for the entire month, you know? So think about how you can reorganize um, your daily tasks in order to batch process things you do repetitively. Also, very important, find the right partner. A partner who shares your values for freedom, who is excited about moving to a freer place, someone who has the same style of raising your kids. If you're into unschooling, it makes your life a lot more easy to find a partner that's into unschooling. So if you haven't had kids yet, please find a partner that matches you more closely in terms of your core values. If you already have kids, don't worry. You can still envision a beautiful life and you can still take steps toward that life, make progress and ultimately achieve that life. Just realize it may take a few additional steps to get there. And one thing that I mention a lot is that wealth is a freedom enhancer. And related to this issue, wealth can give you the power to convince your loved one to come with you where you'd like to move to. If you are struggling to pay your rent or your bills, um, it's very hard to think about anything but that. But if you have a nice stream of income and some wealth saved up, it can do wonders in convincing your loved ones to, uh, to move to a, a nicer place. So, so that wraps up the strategies I wanted to discuss today. Your message of the day is this very simple, simple steps each day to increase the freedom in your life. All you have to do is to take simple steps each day to live as you wish more effectively and to shield yourself from aggression. I ran through a variety of steps I've taken recently and I encourage you to do the same. So once again, the message I want you to take away from this episode is simple steps each day. It's easy, folks. Your action step. Now this is the important part. We can talk about this stuff until we're blue in the face, but it won't make any difference unless you actually choose steps to take and take them. 
So your action step for today is to schedule time to increase your freedom. I'd like you to schedule on a calendar a block of time either every day or every week or a combination of the two, every day and every week, during which you focus exclusively on this effort, picking strategies, determining steps you can take, and taking those steps to increase the freedom in your life, to live as you wish more effectively, become more efficient in order to free up time to live as you wish more effectively and all the things I you know, touched on in this episode. You need to set aside that time. If you don't set aside that time, you could go through another decade not improving your life. On the other hand, if you do set aside that time and you make it a priority and you let people know, look, I, I'm not answering calls during this time. I'm focusing on this thing because this is a very high priority for me. If you do that, every single day your life will get better. And I'm trying to show you how I'm doing that for myself. I'm practicing what I'm preaching and I'm, I want you to improve your life as well. So that's the action step. Schedule time on a calendar every day or every week to focus on achieving more freedom and improving your life. If you want to contact me for any reason, and I really hope you do, I'm, I'm welcoming any feedback you have, any requests, anything you'd like me to talk about specifically. If you want me to get more into how to establish a free society, or you like these steps for you know the simple kinds of things you can do to improve freedom in your personal life, whatever you want to hear, let me know. And there goes the music. Thank you for listening. Wishing you peace, freedom, and happiness. Have a wonderful day and live this day as you wish, as effectively as you can. Thank you.